Hi, this is Eric from Labrador Sports here to give you an introduction to creating your first play in Hoops Lab. So I've just created a free account and I'm sitting on my home screen. And to navigate into the playbook, I can select playbook from the primary navigation, select this big orange plus button and select create play. On this screen, I'll give my play a name, select the sport and select diagram type where I have options to select for half court sets, full court transition or drills if I want even more uh, flexibility in my designer. In addition, we can add a description, but that field is optional. If you end up inviting your players into a Hoops Lab account, uh, they will find this uh, useful in, in gaining additional context to creating or to viewing your plays. And so from here, I'll select continue. And now I'm on my, my diagrammer. So from here, we can add individual offensive or defensive pieces. Uh, we can also add five offensive players at a time, and that is what I will do to speed this up a little bit, and I'll do a little bit of fine-tuning just to make sure all of my guys are in the right spot. We're going to go with a five-out look, and then I'll use this flag icon to denote where I want the ball to start. In addition, I have this shapes option where I can drag this out onto the court to show specific areas of focus. Um, but for now, I'm just going to click done and move on into the animation mode. So on the animation screen, I have the option to add movement and passes or shots. You'll notice each of these icons are, are actually a drop down where there's some additional information available. Uh, for this quick look at a read and react offense, I'm going to pass out to the wing and then select a cut through. And I can grab the midpoint of this arrow and drag it to the hoop to show that we've got a hoop cut. And now I want to just fill out my spaces to make sure I've got a nice balanced court. All right. When I'm happy with the way that this frame looks, I'm gonna go ahead and click add frame and that will bring move my players into the right spots and let me start anew. And in this case, we're probably gonna to wanna to pass this back up to the top of the key and have another cut to the hoop but they're going to actually end up here. So I'll show it like this and again, balance the court. In addition to movements and passing, you also have the ability to add comments on the court by dragging out this comment box. I can select it, add some quick notes and those will display directly on the court or I can select this comment box down on the frame if there's uh, a deeper level of, of insight that you want to provide in the ball movement on that particular frame. For now, uh, I hope this is enough to get you started and familiar with creating your plays in Hoops Lab. Thanks.